So I'm sure a lot of y'all have seen this because it's been on Good Morning America. It's been trending all over YouTube and it's very, very, um, I don't even have the words. Disgusting. I, 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 I don't even I don't even have the words, but I'm gonna let y'all check it out. For those of y'all who have not seen this story, it's about a daycare um in Mississippi. And they were going around with those screen masks. You got some feedback. Scaring too. one and two and three and four year olds. Like scaring the shit out of them with their screen masks. These kids were terrified. They were so scared. It was it was just like, man. But anyway, let me go ahead and bring that on here so you guys can check it out just in case y'all haven't seen it. And this just happened recently, by the way, of course. Okay, pull it on the screen. Okay, I'm gonna mute everybody. Arrest warrants have now been issued for five workers involved in the incident. Stephanie Ramos here with the details. Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning, George. This video is so hard to watch, guys. These daycare workers entrusted with caring for toddlers by their parents are the very people frightening them. This morning, the daycare workers seen in this viral video scaring the very children they're hired to take care of now facing multiple charges for their actions. We started looking into the case to see, um, you know, what facts there were out there to corroborate the video and, and kind of where that might lead them uh, to pursue criminal charges. According to the Monroe County Sheriff's Office, five employees of the Little Blessings Child Care and Learning Center in Hamilton, Mississippi, were charged and arrested. Sierra McCandless, Okiana Kilburn, Jennifer Newman, and Cheyenne Shelton facing three felony counts of child abuse. And Tracy Huston hit with two misdemeanors, including a simple assault against a minor. In the video, daycare workers use a scary Halloween mask and appear to intentionally scare the young children, even chasing and grabbing a toddler at one point in the two minute video. I was in complete shock of what I witnessed, um, whether they had a mask on or the mask off, their behavior was unacceptable. Um, my blood pressure was raised. It broke my heart for my child. I was angry. Speaking to ABC News overnight, Caitlin Johnson says her two-year-old son is still showing signs of trauma and hardly sleeping through the night. She sees these charges as first steps toward justice. I hope you're enjoying jail and I hope you realize what you've done is serious and it's not a joke and it's nothing to laugh at. Keegan and Alyssa Hayes' two-and-a-half-year-old daughter was also in one of those classrooms. They want us to show her face to see what their daughter went through. I want them to see the terror on her face because that is what I see every night. The owner of the center who hasn't been charged says she was not aware of what was happening and that that kind of behavior is not tolerated. The workers, including the one holding the camera, were fired earlier in the month. Just the attention that's, you know, that's been given to this at this point uh, might keep something like this from happening. There are people to look into what's going on, you know, in their daycare facilities. Just heartbreaking. The five former workers who were arrested will go before a judge today for their initial appearance and have a bond set. Now, the grand jury meets next year and will decide whether there is enough evidence to indict them on felony charges. Guys. Girl. Mm. Now, I want to hear some feedback from y'all because I know somebody asked me give up. Um, but before I say that, I did have two daycare people on my show, child care um, uh, owners on my show before, interviewed them around the time of COVID. And one thing I like about these um, centers that I had interviewed, they have so many cameras 
all throughout every corner besides, of course, the restrooms. But every corner is under surveillance 24 hours a day. It looks like you're walking up in the White House or, or something like that when you walk up in there. And the first one of the things I have to say is the daycare owner said she didn't know about this. If you have security cameras, cameras around your daycare, like you should, I think you should, then I'm sure they would have known about this. But anyway, y'all got something to say about this? Like I said, I couldn't even put it in word because I, I like that little girl's face when they showed that little girl's face. The mom said, I wanted y'all to see her face because she was terrified. Like the girl looked like she was about to just crack. But anyway, yeah, that, that kind of made me teary eyed. <laughs> It was very disturbing, you know, to see that nowadays. Now, when I was growing up, you know, I've got at least 40, 50 years on some of you all. People did things that were not as thought out as well as they are now. And things traumatized us as kids. I'm not laughing <laughs> at the video. I'm laughing at some things that was done to me as a child in the name of a holidays, good spirit, family, passing on the torch. You know, a lot of these traditions are very horrifying and you can't do a lot of the things we used to do in the past like they do now with kids. Um, yeah, I can recall have, being scared by family members. You know, mm -hmm. even my stepdad, I, Halloween time, it was like his thing. So I can remember yeah. being scared or, or, you know, they would scare you, jump out of the, you know, different things they would do to get a rise out of you when we were kids. But it was like, it was nothing like that, though. You can give kids post-traumatic stress, uh, stress syndrome and then also to have them on public social media in that state of whatever terror it, that they're that they're having, and then what is acceptable? It's too much. It's too much. It's a lot. I I can't speak as a parent or anything like that, but I mean I, I know what's right and what's wrong, and mm -mm, that's definitely not right. And you just can't do a lot of things that you think is cute and it's okay. You can't do a lot now. I mean, like period, point blank, without it being videotaped and caught and put on social media. Yeah, run that disclaimer. The liability is a lot. I can't hear you, the hood table. Oh, okay, yeah, I have to make sure I ran that disclaimer. I had totally forgot. Yeah, the liability is, is not worth it. I mean, it, a lot of times people start jobs and start companies and things and they sign. Uh, I know everybody makes fun of the NDAs here on the YouTube, but normally if you get a professional job or really any job now, especially since social media has kicked in, you will be signing some type of uh, NDA, uh, not putting your job and what you do out on front street totally, especially if you're doing some um working in certain areas of the company like Amazon, they just l allowed Amazon employees to bring in cell phones. They used to not like they had severe and long security lines just to get into, you know, work and stuff. But you just can't, you can't even really walk and go into the grocery store. You see, you can't go to Walmart without being taped. You can't go anywhere. So you can't do certain things like this. I mean, this is, it's, it can cause stress on okay. kids and people will sue you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, CP. I didn't say anything. Oh, okay. I'm my just adjusting bad. my camera. Oh, my bad. Good? My bad. Well, yeah, I was just going to say the person, like the one of the mothers said, regardless if you were in the mask or if you didn't have a mask, like the person recording it, I don't know. I just, I have a, you know, I always joke around, say, Tanya love the kids, like that one comedian, or I can't remember who that person is. They used to always say that all the time. Something, something love the kids. Was it Bernie? Matt? It was somebody. But, uh, Martin. Really Martin. Martin okay. loves I, the kids. I really do. I really do love the kids. And I have a very soft spot when it comes to abuse and hurting children and children being scared, like like even just being scared, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I'm very um, 
I'm very, I can get a very emotional. Like when I saw that little girl crying, I was like, oh my God. I'll tell you, don't, ooh. <laughs> shit like that makes me want to clock somebody right in here. But yeah, I, th I think whether you were recording it or running around with the mask, um, yes, charges should have been uh, put on them. And I'm glad they did. And this is Mississippi, okay? All white people. Um, That's them. I was getting that. You just mentioned something. I intermittently watched the video you playing. Were there any black children in there? I didn't see any. I didn't, I didn't see Cause any. My thought process is, and you know how I am, if it was, it'd be a totally different story. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be a story about scaring kids. It'd be a story about somebody jumping on the owner. I know. Or shooting them. Because, I mean, I agree. Kids that young, no. Mm -hmm. Now, if they're exposed to it, a little bit older, because a lot of kids like these scary movies. You right. know, they look forward to them because they're not scary like they used to be. They're almost right. they're almost comical. Yeah, and when it happened to us, we were older. That's what I was saying to view. It wasn't yeah. like that. We weren't one and two, barely able to. These kids can't. They probably too young to tie their shoes. They probably don't even know all their ABCs. Like this is imagine the nightmares. These kids, the nightmares. This this could be a. Yeah, I, I agree, but but like I said, you you saw no. No people, as as um, cousin would say, with any melatonin in there, because it would have been a different story, because they'd be in there clowning. I'm as soon as they I found out, be, I would be straight. I have clown for much less over my kids. I we know straight clown, like we know. Drag a bitch out the basketball game, clown. I mean, I didn't clown for my kids, but some shit like that, an uh, innocent little child who can't defend themselves, and they don't know what they don't know what the screen movie is. They don't know it's fake movie. They don't know it's on no TV. <laughs> they just know these people that's supposed to care for them and provide them and make sure they safe is scaring the shit out of them. Like ugh, that just made me so disgusted. I was angry. I mean, legally, the stress alone of, of that traumatizing the kids like that, it's toddlers and and around the holiday, such as Halloween. I mean, you could claim that stress syndrome every year. And if you'd gone through a lawsuit, I mean, you have to calculate that on top of what you're suing for. And some of these cases get through. I'm still confused about the lady that spilled coffee on herself from McDonald's asking for extra, extra hot coffee. And when she got it, she right. spilled it on herself and won all that money. I mean, are these cases frivolous? I don't know. But this little baby is screaming in terror. We don't know if one day when she grows up 30 years from now, she ends up killing everybody and blaming people that the, the teachers that and uh, you know the school she was that traumatized her. I don't know. You just can't do anything nowadays. You can't. And then the recording stuff. Like every time you record something, it's it's bound to get out there. I don't care if you recording something to never be seen again. It's gonna get out there eventually. I don't know how this got out there. The person recording it. I don't. I don't. I don't even know why you would post something like that on social media because. Like, how you not think that you were going to be in hot Like, how you not think you were going to be in hot water? I'm just thinking about some things we should do as kids. It's like, I know you didn't do that. And we could have sued for lots of money. I'm sorry. It's off the topic. I apologize. <laughs> It's okay. I mean, we've done a lot of foolish things. Um, and, you know, even like sometimes when we talk about our parents used to scare us and stuff like that, or older kids in the family or something like that, it was literally all in fun. It was literally all in fun. But from, from looking at this video, this was not done in fun. It seemed like they wanted these children to just be horrified. Right. Like, right. Just, and then the way the mother was uh, picking up the kid, he trying to run away, and she picking him up and putting him, her face all in his face. Child, you know what that can do for a little person's heart. Shit, let somebody come in my house with a screen mask on, scaring me. If I don't get to my pistol, we know. I pass out. I ain't even lying. I mean, mm -hmm. like, knew it was coming. I mean, you you and that pistol. You already know, but I mean, for real though, if you if somebody come in your house 
and you just see them and they just running around trying to attack you with a mask on, some people, they heart might fucking stop. Like, oh no. Hell no. Well, I just want to interject real quick off subject. It's been a pleasure seeing y'all, hearing y'all. But I finally reached my destination after Chick Fil A messed up my order. Well, have fun. I will be in touch. Nice y'all to take see care. You. Nice seeing have you. A good night. We will be in touch. Y'all take care. Be safe. Yeah, uh-huh. be safe. Have fun tonight. Ain't no fun. I'm watching a movie. Stop it. Uh huh. <laughs> yes. yes. Uh huh. Goodbye. Goodbye. Nintendo. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Yeah, but and then also some a lot of I mean suppose somebody got hurt during that situation somebody fell and slipped their and bust their head about a, uh, around a situation that really was stupid scaring kids with masks I mean the implications of of what could have happened uh, and 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 any type of insurance that those the school care workers it looked like it was a at, at home type of daycare situation doesn't look like it was a professional uh instit- i mean not an institution but a professional um company or whatever i'm not into the schooling system so i don't know about that but yeah it just looks like it's a mom pa thing so i don't know i hope that i hope they have the licenses up to date that's one thing i hope because mm-hmm. that's going to be checked um besides them just firing a couple of the the workers who had done that there's a lot of other things that are going to be involved in what's going to happen to that that company and that services and also for other services um, in the future. Oh, that so, daycare provider. I have a big feeling that that daycare provider will no longer be doing daycare because once, like how many right. kids was in there? It was probably about mm, 15 kids in there maybe. And I'm certain that all those parents is going to sue the hell out of that daycare provider. Everybody's daycare provider. going to sue. Right. Right. At child and the daycare provider. I'm sorry, ma'am. But um, whether you are at a home daycare or in a building, a facility, a brick and mortar, you should have cameras nonstop during your daycare hours. And then and then you kept somebody has to supervise the t- teachers that are working. I mean, who suggested and thought that that was a good idea to do that? And, and and who who thought it was a good idea to tape it? Thank goodness that people are taping things, but I don't like it all the time when they tape shit. But I mean, we wouldn't have the, the receipts that we have now. But um, yeah, I hope they paid their insurance premium. That's all I'm going to say. There's lots of people that are going to sue. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, I boy, like bro said, and, and you know what? Did you get a look, a real good look at the ladies who were charged? Like I'm sorry, I know they, they look like trailer trash. I'm sorry, they look like they. I would never like you. Just gonna trust your kids around people that look like that? I'm really picky about certain things, and I would never. I don't know what type of set. I mean, we saw how it looked with them. You know, all the tents lined up and the chairs and everything looking all clean, yellow, pink, and green. And, you know, but that might be the outside. We don't really know what, what it looks like inside. Definitely have cameras. But they don't even look like, you know, anything that I would want to send if I had some dogs to go get dog trained at. I'm just saying. I, I mean, I don't know why people just... They just think, well, they just got to drop their kids off and let them go anywhere. I'm, I, I just can't imagine anybody really putting their kids in that situation. Unless I'm seeing something different, but it just didn't look like anything. It looked like trash. You know what? It looked like those are one of those daycares that when you can't afford or not afford, but when you are not privileged to get t- Title 20 assistance, because you know, we all know that daycare daycare costs a whole lot of money, right? So you know how some daycare providers, they give you, um, uh, they they like waive some of the fee because you pay cash. So that looks like one of those daycares where, you know, they probably take cash. They, they you know, they give you a, a, 
Yeah. A huge, a huge discount. I mean, it just, it just, the people who were working there, I mean, they, they look like they shouldn't be taking care of children. I mean, I'm sorry. Well, but... there wasn't any guidance. There wasn't any management. They, I mean, like they, you can hire people to, you know, do those jobs and things, but somebody has to be the one that finally does a sign off and say, okay, we can do this today. We can do that. Somebody had to think about it. I mean, I don't, nobody thought about them putting on scary two, three, four masks on and screaming around these kids at a daycare. Like that's not something, I mean, that whoever, whoever is in charge of that was in charge of that or set that up. They were not organized and they didn't think out the process. So I, I just, you know, I'm looking at it from that point, but um, I, I feel sorry for anybody that's traumatized by anything like this. But I do see lots of lawsuits, and I just, for me, I wouldn't, I read the homeschool. I, if they had to choose between that, I would somehow figure out, I'll be one of those people to scrap the babies on my back and work, you know, work on the computer, but I would not. This doesn't look like a place that. I know people can't afford everything nice, but it, it just looks scary. And then look, at, you know, the fact that those kids, teenage kids, could, oh, and then they just look crazy. The people look like, the women look like they came from, well, I can't say prison. I'm sorry. I don't mean to say that. But they just oh. didn't look like anybody you want to help. They do, them. though. They look like some bitches that run a meth lab out of a trailer. They just look like oh, derelicts. Like, you know, and how yeah. would you want to leave your newborn kids or kids that are growing and developing, needing some um, guidance and structure? And I mean, really, leave them with those crackhead-looking, blown-up, swollen tramps. See, I'm being real. No, I'm trying not to go cussing. I'm trying to be nice. I'm on the hood table. I'm, table. I'm not on my channel. Uh, then it should look acceptable. Table. Go ahead. Go and ahead. and I and I'm and I'm all good, you know. We, everybody can't afford certain things. I, I know that and I understand that, but you know, mm -mm. they still need people to come by and inspect and uh, inspectors, the county, city, government. I don't know who inspects daycare workers or whatever, but and if you can stay home and raise your kids as far as you can, I suggest doing that because if you don't, you see what you're putting your kids in. You know, oh, well, Sally May can take care of the kids, and you know, look what's happened to Sally May and her situation. Now she got your kids out here on the YouTube looking stupid. And do pop-ups like we do pop-ups at school. I know a lot of parents like me. I used to know right. pop-up queen. I pop-up, they be like, hey, um, because they, they already know how what kind of parent I am, and I'm you know, I don't play about school, right, but right. I also don't play about um, teachers or, you know, some teachers, they be disrespectful, you know, treat kids any old kind of way. So you got to do a pop-up every now to make sure your teachers mm -hmm. in check and make sure your kids is behaving in check. So it's the same way with these daycare facilities. I don't care if they are home daycare or a brick and mortar. Um, you still have to do a pop-up every now and then, y'all. Check out all these and Let me say and this. Just, just, okay, okay if these me... kids is, um, <laughs> if this happened to these kids, around Halloween. It does not mean that these kids weren't being abused. <laughs> Wait, that's what I'm getting ready to say the hood table. I was like, if they're doing this shit during Halloween, what about the other days of the Thank year that the holiday? What I mean, I'm sure they did not doing wait doing till this? Halloween to scare the shit out of these children. I'm sure <laughs> they have to be doing something else throughout the year. To these kids. What are they going to the other holidays? I bet they'd be fucking them kids on doing MLK. They're yelling at them and pulling on them. And you know what I'm we saying? We just don't know. They like just take them like on this that, holiday. A person like that does not care for fucking kids. Like, you mm -mm. cannot care for kids. Would you scare your own one year old, two year old like that and get them down there a baby heart attack? Like, Horrible. you can really severely hurt a child. Whether mentally or physically, at that That's young okay. age. Mm -hmm. So yeah, these these fuck ass bitches. I'm telling you, like bro said, had them been some black kids up in that motherfucker, the whole story would have been totally different. Oh, they would have whitewashed it. Pardon the pun. Yeah, it would have been swept on. It would have been uh, given it to been, us. It, it would have been swept under the rug because somebody's parents would have been up in there tearing that shit apart. 
Mm-hmm. Like, oh, so yeah, they might have would have tried to sweep it under the rug, but after yeah, they would have attempted to. Yeah, they would have. Mm-hmm. But child, but they think- know, go ahead, babe. Go ahead. No, I just think it's. I think it's. A gra- it's a curse and a grace on social media, but for situations like that, I think it's awesome, especially mm-hmm. if it's in a school setting because, you know, it, that's just wrong. First of all, I don't like it when pe- people when people put their kids and kids and any type of kids on the YouTube. But that's the whole. That's my op- business, my opinion. I'm not telling anybody. I'm not preaching. I'm just saying what it is. But when situations occur like this. You know, is definitely needed, and it helps being able to charge the people. I mean, to see yeah. that. But I just wish after this, it'll go away. I just don't want that, you know, taping to be put out there for the kids to have that as their legacy on the social media. You know, 10, 20, 30, 40 years, and then they're running for office and doing things. And I mean, things you do on the YouTube, do as young. This it's going to come back to you. And they, they are there forever. Back. So how do you feel though? Okay, forever. And, and, and I'm glad you said that, view because how do you feel about the one mom? Because the other kids, they had that blur over their face. But the one, one mom was like, fuck that shit. I want y'all to see the fear, the terror in my daughter's face. That sounded like a money grab. I'm like, I'm thinking, though, now, like you said, that might be on the Internet forever. And when that child grows up, she might still be traumatized from that. But mm-hmm. I, I don't disagree with the mother I disagree, doing it no. because sometimes you just gotta okay it is okay okay let's say i know this is off a totally different area of discussion but i'm gonna just say real quick emmett hill everybody mm-hmm. kept begging this lady to not put this in the paper not let everybody see this but sometimes you just gotta be like it is what it is i need to grab people's attention like really mm-hmm. so um, I, you know, I, I just hope these kids, I think they definitely should put these kids in some type of, uh, uh, therapy or, you know, counseling or something, you know, they weren't raped. They weren't, a, you know, they weren't nothing like that, but mm-hmm. they were still assaulted. They were still to me. They yeah. Were still the assaulted. level of it, mm-hmm. it wasn't physical, but I mean, Mental. you know, it could cause that it mentally could cause affect a lot of different things. So it's yeah. it's a lot, and and we haven't even touched the surface of what could happen if if somebody does sue for it, and what could happen in reality, and like maybe that's why people are in this situation now because you know me or not me, but anybody that was younger was tra- traumatized by somebody running with a butcher knife and you know doing certain things. I'm trying to think, what did we do as Halloween? I don't know. We didn't we didn't traumatize people like that. I mean, trick or treat. Still candy bags and maybe t- uh, th- toilet paper your house or... Uh-huh. Yeah, remember that when people would toilet yeah. paper your house and the trees and, you know, yeah. all that kind of stuff. <laughs> we didn't have social media, so nothing we did would be, unless you burned somebody's house down. I mean, that's a whole thing. That's, that's sick. But there was none of this to trying to figure out what category of stress and mental, you know, duress are you serving to somebody but you know yeah they were definitely out to hurt these kids i mean the way they were acting with those kids it's it wasn't like, funny it wasn't even funny it wasn't funny yeah <laughs> in the least bit it wasn't funny in the least bit it was it's like, supposed to be, like easter's supposed to be happy like i mean it's i don't know and think what is it Easter Bunny, da, da 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 Halloween, we already know it's a little scary, but why set somebody up at two or four years old? I don't even know how old these kids are. Right. Scaring them, choking them, and pulling them. Did you see that one ugly yes, one just bro, run around? I'm, I'm telling huh? you, not only was she they chasing the children, but but when they with like they were grabbing some of them up, like yeah. forcing, like forcing them to to deal with it and for, forcing them to face them. Mhm. Like oh, way too of young. Of you, right. of you, of you. I'm just like, man. I would have came up there, no questions, no talking. Like, but who said? Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to allow t- uh, twenty five dollars to buy some masks and some stuff, and we're going to when the kids come in, we after parents drop them off, we have them all strapped down while they have their snack. And then you at nine o'clock, we're gonna 
pull out the mask and run around and scream. Like, is that what you plan for the agenda? Is that what the management signed off on? Is that what you okay for in the activity plan? Was that part of the activity? Did you have to pay extra for that? I'm telling you, view. I can bet my life that those children go through something on a regular basis. It might not be a screen mask, but you got to be some heartless son of a bitches to, and I sound like an old country ass hillbilly right now, but you got to be some heartless ass son of a bitches to scare children like that. And, and, and like I said, they probably was doing other stuff to those kids um, that might, you know, that's why a lot of people don't send their kids to daycare or they don't send their kids to other people's houses to spend a night and things like that at a very young age because kids can, um, like there's this other story I wanted to talk about and it's so sad. I'll talk about that later. But kids, there's this other story where a lady, um, her husband had full custody of the children and she kept begging and begging and going to the courts and going to CPS and going to everybody saying he's abusing the kids. He's abusing the kids. They come home telling me all these horrific stories and they like, well, they wouldn't listen. They wouldn't listen. They wouldn't listen and end up the kids, man, they, they, they died. Right. So um, they were starved. They were beaten. And the, the, the father and the girlfriend, his girlfriend was doing all kind of shit to these kids. And so uh, a lot of people, um, when their kids are real young, they can't they can't explain um, on a level that kids who are older can. Like they might say things like, "Hey, they they, they do you know, you know how little kids are? They can't form a, a sentence. They just can say a little bit like, oh, somebody hit me or somebody that you like.' They can't say this person took a whole belt and locked me in the closet and beat my ass." You know, but they were telling this mother that their dad was putting them in a garage and out back if they told the dad that we miss our mom and we love our mom. So the kids were not allowed to say anything positive about their mom and their dad's custody. And if they did, and so the mom, she even recorded, she was like, what you mean he make you go outside? And he was like, outside, outside, you know, by the car, outside. Kind of find out he was tying these kids up outside. He was putting them in a the garage, no clothes. It's 40, 30 degrees, no clothes, no shoes, no pillow, no blanket. If they said something positive about their mom in his custody. So kids, they don't have that uh, mentality to explain shit like that. And that's why a lot of people don't send their kids to daycare or over people's house, even family members. Because we know family can be... Um, Y'all know. But yeah, until their kids are old enough to actually speak and say exactly what's going on with them. But welcome back to the chat, Mrs. Slow. Hey, y'all. I don't know if you can hear me. I'm driving, so cutting in and out. Hey, you folks. Yes, yes, we hear you. And Katie L said, in my field, mental health trauma is definitely very loosely um, caused unique for uh, each different individual. When a person or a child fears for their or someone else's safety or life and or it feels helpless. Yeah. Like totally helpless. These kids felt helpless. I'm sure the first thing they were thinking was mom and dad. Like, where is mom and dad? Why is mom and dad sending me here? to go through this kids don't know better they one and two years old why is mom and dad where are they do they know what's going on that just ooh, that just breaks my heart i hope they get them the maximum time that they can give in a situation like this i really do but i'm gonna be following this story because i want to know when they go to court i want to see the trial i'm gonna do all that I just came in, so I missed it. I'm sorry, y'all. That's okay, honey. That's okay. I sent I sent you the link in our group chat. I sent you the link. Our um, of the little boy, um, <clears throat> I mean the daycare people who were scaring the kids with the with the screen mask. Yeah, I sent y'all the link of that in our uh, group chat. So. Oh yeah, the four. Oh girl, that's, yeah, that's what we was talking about. I mean, yeah, that's what you call. Country bunk in Eng England. Girl, ignorant. Country bunk in England. That's hillbilly ignorant. Mm -hmm. You yep. better be good 
<laughs> she better be good. Thank you. That's what I'm saying. That's what I was just telling you. I said I can bet on my life that this is not the first time that these children have been terrified of these daycare providers. Maybe not with a mask, but maybe with their voice, their eyes, they they you know discipline. Um, this this is not a once time thing that these kids have been traumatized in this daycare. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. And and the thing, and the thing was, they wanted to make sure that they traumatized each and every one of those kids. They were going to them one by one to make sure that they had their own traumatic experience. That was terrible. Mm hmm. I agree. One by one, like when they snatched that right. little boy up, they were snatching them kids up. Oh, you gonna run for me? Snatch them up. Come on now. Now you putting your hands on my kids. I'm telling y'all. Boy, mm -hmm. boy, we all be up in jail. I'm telling y'all, but they gonna have an ass whooping. <laughs> a plethora of ass whoopings. Yeah, a plethora of ass whoopings. Man, I'm telling you, boy. Ass whooping like a nine to five. Every time I see you, I'm seeing you at least about two, three times a week. Gonna whoop your ass. Yeah, like when you in the streets and you get in a fight, you like, bitch. Every time I see you, it's on site. I'm telling you, on site. I'm like, I don't care if we're at church. Yeah, we can be at a funeral. We can be at another day. I'm gonna whoop your ass. If whatever. High school Wherever. reunion is on site everywhere. It don't matter. Here, you could be at a rest stop at a public park. I'm gonna whoop your ass. Mm -hmm. You can be at the gas station. You already know that's what we love to get down there. Girl, boy, mm -hmm. the gas station. Oh, hold up. Uh, yeah, we act the clue. We act the donkey when it comes to the gas station because we know everybody watching. Is that Bills on forty on fortieth? Forty. Well, all in the, the regular ass shit. It wouldn't matter where the hell it would be. Bills on fortieth or east side of San Antonio or <laughs> south side of College Station or north side of Bryan. It wouldn't even matter. Oh, Always go down at the gas station. Like, ass for, life, for real. And, and we be like, just sitting there, going to get gas, going to get a drink. Next thing you know, either pow, 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 or somebody fighting. All yeah, the time. Ass whooping. It's ass whooping time. All the time. I'm going to get gas, and we going to whoop ass. There it is. Mm -hmm. Ass and whooping ass. There, the, the, the combo. Mm -hmm. The North <laughs> Omaha combo. Gas, getting gas and whooping ass. I don't get gas at night, that's for sure. I like as soon as the sun gets it looks like it's getting ready to go down. Mm -mm, no man. No, it would hit me during the daytime, too. I it's know, but at least I feel safe. I, at least I can see something. I can identify something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah anybody better. in school. Yeah, it's going down in the summer. Noon time, mm. time, these motherfuckers they care, they don't care. Maybe I'm right. swinging and banging, swinging and banging at the game. Swinging and banging. It's fighting time. Like, what you fighting for? I don't know. Is he fighting, so I want to fight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, don't, don't hear about the fight. And then you roll up in there later to ask the uh, employees, man, I heard there was fighting out here. Yeah, look at the gunshot in the window. Like, oh. <laughs> right. More Why, you want your ass whooped too, nigga? No. You know what I'm saying? Nah, like, for real, uh, for real. I, it would be going down with that daycare. Like, all jokes aside, like, yeah, I, I, my heart goes out to those kids because I have yeah. been trying well, to A couple of them was crying. Them. You know, a couple of them, they look like they're up and I'm like, what y'all crying for now? It was funny with it, it, it was funny when uh, when y'all was out here free. Now y'all got federal, facing federal felony charges. Now y'all crying. Federal, federal. Federal the one federal. chick, she on there, you could tell she she gonna snitch on everybody because she was just crying. Right. I mean, she was red. I mean, when she took the mug shot, she just had that that look like she had that Terrell, you know that. They look uh, like that redneck hillbillies. Uh, they look like a mm. bunch of methods that were Try. taking care of children. You remember yeah. when Terrell Owens? Remember when Terrell Owens got on on the national TV was on there crying, talking about he got to feed his kids and the lip just. Bottom of his lip just shivering and he oh, snotting and crying. Yeah, that, that that's 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 how she was looking. She was over there looking like, man, I'm telling on everybody. I'm not about to go to jail. I can't go to jail. I just want to know what the owner looked like. What your Stupid. employees look like. 
I want to know what the owner looks like. I need to get into the accounting office. I need to check that out. They still all stupid. Man. They ain't that damn stupid though. They got that damn daycare and all them cheering, but now that money gone. Who certified that? Okay, what state? They, I mean, there's lots of things that's going to happen now. Okay, Great state of, of Mississippi. That was Mississippi. All right, so there we go. It's going to be a lot of activity right. with them. Yeah, yeah. It was. It was in Mississippi. And where's the license? And what type of? Uh, when was the last audit? And um, not t- not just financial, but for the well being. Like the They're social the workers day, have to do certain things. Yeah, I mean it's gonna be a big thing. Yeah, throw, throw, the the away. throw it away. Just throw the whole daycare away. Yeah, oh, it's they gonna are... scare the Negro kids. Right. You're like, <laughs> it's, it's legal. Hell yeah, you scared them little bastards. That's what they say. You yeah, scared them all little day bastards. long. All day long. We'll give them. They already they they grow up in the area where they get shot and shooting and everything. So yeah, you scared them. They ain't gonna get scared of that man. That boy was screaming. Boy, he was screaming, hollering, Jack. I can't. And it was like, I mean, I just the. It just baffles me that certain people think it's okay to do certain things. Well, you I'm, a little like, where kid. is your head at? Where is your you the grown up here? You the adult? You the mature one, or should be? Like, a little right, Negro baby. Yeah, I think it's to be funny, not even really to do any. I, I it's just, a joke to them. It's, it's a, a joke. joke, and then to tape it and everything, and you know, get some clicks and views and oh, all that. You scared the little Negro babies. See, yeah, that's I all that's what I'm saying. I, clicks and views, the things that people do for clicks and views, we say that all the time in the B sector. But something like this where it involves children, very small children, that would never, you would yeah, think. No, you get it stomped out. You, get, you, get, you yeah. would think they would never want that to see the, the light of day. You getting packed out. Some more no, time. They put no. You getting beat up. You gonna get beat up. I don't take your choice how you want your ass whooped, but you gonna catch that one. Yeah, you gonna catch a fade, bro. You gonna yeah, catch you gonna catch a whole fade. bunch of fades. It ain't gonna just be one fade because I already know somebody gonna call the police. Somebody, I'm gonna have to catch you later because I probably if I if I end up going, I got to bond out. But then I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna catch you then. I'm gonna catch you at the grocery store somewhere, mm-hmm. gas station. I'm gonna throw a shoe at you, a book, something, a brick. I don't give a shit. Oh. Like Every grandma I'm gonna get my house shoe, whatever in arms reach. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to shoot you because you know that's attempted. You know that you could just right, talk them. Right. You know that's discharging firearms and yeah, all. Yeah, we can't do that. Yeah, we can't. Do that. No, they we can't do it. It's just that who the hell got that kind of money to keep paying the laws to get up out that bullshit? I know. Shoot, I got money, but I ain't got a lot of money. Too. Not they to be spending on the jail and shit. Even though I know they ass deserve it. You know what I'm saying? Because they deserve a whole bunch of hell of whoopings. I mean, some ass whoopings. Like, they, they, man. They, they deserve more than some ass whoopings, but we ain't going to go there. We, 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 we. Every child in that daycare, their entire family should just come well and down on them. Every child's entire family should come well and down on them. And they yeah, are, I think. Just, well, no, just whoop their ass like ragdolls. <laughs> I, I know my family specifically would be like, what the f- Maybe need to hey, get him. Maybe need to I get him some of this. Maybe, 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 maybe I mean, we need I, to. Maybe they need to pump them full of some Zoloft's and get them a little hallucinated, and somebody start jumping up in the rooms with their ass and scaring the hell out of them and watching them go crazy. Oh, take you know, this to another how, level. Okay. You know, mm. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. Now, you know, y'all know how they, y'all know how they gotta calm out to calm the patients down. You yeah. do ask me some of that Lexapro. Oh, you a badass, huh? Oh, you think you tough? Oh, mm-hmm. okay, yeah, we got something for you. Yeah, we're gonna slip something on this YouTube. track. Mm-hmm. Yeah, every time I'm, he come through the line, you give him that little, you give him a little extra dose of that uh, Lexapro or some of that Ritalin or something. Get him right. Good lord, yeah, you get I extra. Said, really, not the Ritalin from 1980, not the Ritalin. Oh, lord. Ritalin. oh my goodness, 